What's up guys, thanks for tuning in to West Virginia Astronomy, my name is Jonathan, um, if you're new to the channel I'd like to thank you for stopping by, um, I do videos all about astrophotography and astronomy from my backyard, I do image processing videos, um, equipment reviews, just any kind of projects I have going on in the backyard, so if that's something you're into, maybe consider subscribing to the channel, hitting that bell, and giving me a thumbs up, I mean it really does help kind of push these videos out to more people, and that will jump right into it. This time of the year is very exciting for me as fall and winter time approach. Uh, a lot of my favorite astrophotography targets are making their way into my sky. Probably one of the most well known uh, objects in the night sky, the Orion constellation will soon dominate the winter sky. Located within the Orion constellation just south of Orion's belt lies M42, also known as the Great Orion Nebula. This deep sky treasure is truly my favorite astrophotography target and it's one of the brightest nebula in the night sky. It's such a bright uh, object when we take long exposure photographs it tends to blow out the core so we're forced to do a separate session of shorter exposures to preserve that detail in the core and we blend those in with longer exposures um, for the faint dusty stuff. We must stack all this data separately and take it into Photoshop blend it all together to create an HDR astrophotography image. That's what this video is all about my guide to HDR astrophotography showing you step by step how to blend multiple different exposures together to create a truly breathtaking image of the great Orion Nebula in all its glory. So if you struggled with this in the past or you're just curious to see how other people are doing it or how I'm doing it uh, stick around guys I'm super excited it's gonna be a fun process and we're gonna jump right into it. only way to do this but it's the way I like to do it so I hope you guys enjoy it or somebody gets something out of it um, okay so here we are in Photoshop um, it is mid-November now and it's still a, a little early uh, to be shooting at Ryan so I kind of wanted to get this video out a little bit early to kind of help people that are just starting the hobby and they're going to be photographing Orion over the next few months and hopefully this video will help somebody out. Um, here we are in Photoshop. I have processed this image to get it to this point by using levels and curves and this video is more about blending the core rather than a full processing tutorial so I just kind of wanted to show you how easily you can fix this uh, this bright core here. If you zoom in, you can see that we've just clipped this data in the middle of the object here and that's called blowing out your highlights or clipping your data and you're going for a very subtle natural look so we want to really preserve that detail and that takes our astrophotography one step more and makes it just that much better. So. Both of these images were captured using my Rokinon 135 I'm at f4 and I used my ASI 183 MC Pro astronomy camera and it has a two times crop factor and I again cropped some of the image for the tutorial I think it's a good example here and this top layer was three minute exposures and it's about 85 three minute exposures stacked with darks flats and dark flats if we turn this layer off here you can see I have a shorter set of exposures and these were captured these were 15 second exposures and I captured 115 of these to stack together with darks flats and dark flats I did have to process the image to get it to this point and you can see as we zoom in here it's a little blurry but it's okay for this tutorial um, the data could be a little better but you can see here they these, this little blob is actually called the trapezium and it's actually four stars here. If I would have used my telescope I could have probably resolved each one of the four stars but again for this tutorial it will do. So you can see if we turn this layer on and off we got our shorter exposures underneath of the longer exposure. So what we're going to do, we can come down here and click on layer mask here. Now we can go up here and select our brush tool and we want to have it on 
an opacity of let's go to about 18 percent here and we're going to lower the size about 100 pixels and you want the hardness to be all the way down and we're just going to highlight our mask here we're going to make sure black is selected over here and you can see as we click around the central area here we can start to bring that detail back to the core and you want this to be very subtle you don't want to overdo it you want to preserve that natural look so I tend to just you know you can darken up some of these areas around the shadows a little bit you can kind of get real creative using this uh, this layer mask here and we can lower our size down a little bit to get in these darker areas and just paint some of that just to add a little more depth and you can see we're bringing back in some of that detail and we'll look at the before and after here and you can see that might have overdid it just a tad but we can again take our opacity and we can lower it down to kind of make it look more natural here and that looks about good to me so yeah I just kind of really wanted to show you guys how simple that is um, you can go from a really blowed out image to something that looks like this and yeah it, just taking it that much that one step further really makes that much of a difference and it really adds that extra pop and flair to to your image so it's really worth uh, learning how to do this guys it's really simple just you, you just got to make sure to take the time to do those shorter exposures right after your longer exposures um, then you if you take them the same night with the same filter you don't ever have to worry about your your frames not lining up or anything like that and okay say you didn't want to use the layer mask you could also come over here as long as your shorter exposures are underneath your longer exposures over here you can just um, choose the eraser brush over here and just make sure that your opacity is turned down um, we'll go to about here and raise the brush size up and you can just erase and it basically does the same thing as a layer mask does um, you can just come in and the more clicks you add the more uh, detail you'll be bring back in here and yeah I just wanted to point out that uh, if you're not familiar with a mask uh, this is a, another alternative that's very easy to do and you can see it achieves the same uh, thing that we did with the mask yeah guys uh, that's about it for this one it's a pretty short video I just kind of really wanted to show you guys um, take the time to do that this winter it's really worth it and if you like this video maybe uh, give me a thumbs up uh, leave me a comment let me know if uh, if you like doing it a different way just let me know in the comments and yeah guys uh, until next time I wish you good luck clear skies and see you in the next one